All right, well, we got potential bad weather, hail, tornado, things of that nature. And so I have received instructions from high command to put all the vehicles in the big shed where they will be mostly protected from the inclement weather. Oh, expedition spark plugs, that's foreshadowing. If I ever do a video on that, broken glass. Yep, we live on a farm, we're good. So we're gonna see right now if the power smoke is gonna start up because if it's if it doesn't, then I'll have to go jump it. Uh, she's dead. She is D-E-D -E -D dead. All right, well, then I'll do this one last, I suppose, because I'll uh, go ahead and pop the hood. So I'll move everything else in the shed first, and then uh, I'll do my pickup after I jump start this piece of crap, and uh, we'll go from there. But I think I'll go ahead and pull mine over here, get this charging. So we've got Zippy, the excursion. Mazda's gone because Dad's out on a business trip right now. So we'll get those in there first. And then hopefully we miss anything too inclement. All right. A little bit of air. Let's go get that power stroke started up. Because... That's going to have to be, well, not started up, but charging because that's going to be, that's going to be a minute to charge both those batteries. It's completely dead. And I'm actually a little bit surprised because it sat for a while before and been fine, but hopefully the rats haven't completely chewed something important. We'll see if the old V10 here has got enough juice in the alternator to go ahead and charge her up. Now, can't do that one handed. Well, the only thing that'll charge a Ford is another Ford. Let's see if we got them hooked up good and we got some power. Hopefully we have some power. Come on, Silverton. Hell yeah. All right, we'll let that charge because it's, it's completely dead. We'll make that alternator on the V10 work. So let's, uh, let's go get the excursion in first. The yeah, excursion's extra loud. It needs a, uh, it needs some kind of exhaust work, but honestly, it sounds better without the exhaust. That's been there for a while. Don't worry about it. Oh, don't let me forget to shut the windows and stuff on the Versatile. All right, so sometimes we could open these panels right here and drive in, but then I'd have to move that great big piece of pipe and I don't want to do that because the cows come in here for water. So we'll go the long way around. We'll go and turn around and come back in. Do it that way. Now, did I turn sharp enough? I may not have. Oh, there's a skid steer. I did not. This, um, we're planning to have this fixed by the end of this year where we don't have to do all this maneuvering to get in here and it's a little bit of a tight fit but I've done it enough I can just glide right through perfect so then I'll get this chain link open up on the shed I'll back this excursion in in case for some stupid reason the battery dies at least I can get in there with my pickup and charge it and uh, you know the other thing is if for whatever reason hail gets in there if it's going to destroy a piece of glass, I'd rather it destroy the front glass than the back glass because the back glass is a little harder to get. At least that's the that's the thought. So get positioned here just so. And we'll back up a little bit. Probably do about there is good. Let's go open that gate. One vehicle down. I think if I'm really good, which of course I am, I'm amazing, I think I can back Zippy in right here. It'll be a little tight, but it'll be okay. I got maybe a little bit too close and had to move that 2x4 right there out of the way. Totally didn't run it over though. Uh, not even a little bit. So, the way I have this set up, what I would like to do is put Zippy here and then uh, back the Silverton in. There's not enough width to put it in and mine but if we can at least get it in the big shed 
that I think would be the best and we should have enough room. And I know it looks like it's wide enough, but I, I don't, I don't want to try and squeeze two pickups in here. So we could put the silver tin in here, you know, back it in because I'm probably going to have to jump it. And then I will back my pickup in probably right here and I'll have it in four by four so that I can get out if it rains a bunch. Cause the last time I just pulled it in and then, uh, well, I guess I could pull it in and leave it in four by four. That wouldn't make much of a difference, would it? But the, the point is I want to put three out of the four vehicles in the shed. And I originally I was like, oh, I'll back the versatile in here too. But I have to open those panels right there to get the versatile in. So it'll just have to sit out here and we'll risk it. But if the glass in that breaks, it's flat glass. So we could get plexiglass and, and replace it at worst. You know, we could do regular glass too, I suppose. But it'll be it'll be all right so let's go get zippy i want to get everything in the shed before it starts to precipitate but mainly before the cows get back and i have to keep shutting gates and all that let's see if this thing's going to start up before we go move zippy i don't know that it's been charging long enough we'll try it come on silverton oh she don't like that uh, the voltometer, which this does not have. Uh-oh, that's not good. That is not good at all. Man. Oh, where'd the key go? There it is. Man. Might be these... Might be these jumper cables. These are not the best jumper cables on earth, believe it or not. What kind of connection are we getting there? Okay. It should have it should have performed a little bit better than that by now. It's warm outside, I think it'll start. I don't see any evidence of rats. Come on, sweetheart. That should be good. Come on. Work with me here, hon. Still nothing. It's gonna have to charge for a few more minutes. Beautiful. Now, all we have to do is get Silverton to start, which, I don't know, guys. It may not we may hmm there is actually something we can do I have a battery I have a couple batteries charged actually for the hot wire and I can go ahead and swap them in and hook the jumper cables up and see if that truck will fire just to get it in here then I'll charge the good batteries overnight and we'll do it that way but it, it doesn't look bad right now it, it looks a lot darker on camera than it actually is but I can feel it getting more and more humid, so we better we better get this into high gear. All right, brand new Fretwell, brand new, good used right from the shop, batteries, and we're hooked up to the other pickup. Oh, I like it, come on. Oh, she just fired right up. This thing hasn't run in probably like, oh hell, eight months? It still sounds like crap, but it fired right up. How about that? Six, four for the win. Is she gonna die? Oh, it's even charging. I love it. I love it. All right, we'll go put this in the shed and then we'll get this sweetheart in the shed. All right, got this one under the lean-to such as it is. It'll provide enough protection the headache rack should shield that so let's go get power stroke and uh i had to have someone come down and guard that cattle guard the cows came up to drink and thankfully we've got them trained they'll follow the pickup thankfully because i had some calves walk across that cattle guard because it's just silted in thankfully they followed their mothers coming out of the lot here and i didn't have to try and wrangle them out the benefits of having your cows trained are just 
they just always pay dividends. They really do. So let's go get one last vehicle under that building. All right, well, I mean, I don't know. You probably can't hear it very well. This thing still sounds like crap, but it's not loping, and uh, it's not even smoke. Well, I stand corrected. It's, it's smoking. It's smoking the same as it always was. I was going to start this thing on Earth Day and floor it just to make Greta mad, but I, I decided I had better things to do. I know it's really silly to do something like that, but it's also kind of fun. I, I also didn't want to damage the engine more if it's not damaged already. And we're just going to pull this thing in. Just like so. I'm not even going to try and back it in. We We need to... We're going to need to jump it. The excursion will do just as good a job as my pickup. No, you can't. Yeah, that's, it doesn't sound good. Uh, it's seen better days, for sure. Oh yeah, it smells like failure. All right, even the AC still works. I mean, that's just, that's just awesome. Poor old thing. So if anyone watches this that also watches, oh, the electronic locks still work. I know it's silly. It's only been sitting for a few months, but still. All right. So if anyone uh, watches this video that has also been waiting on 6.4 stuff, I, I, oh man, I don't even know when we're going to get to this. The original plan fell apart. Parts availability is an issue now and uh we've just gotten swamped with some other stuff so i do not know when we will get to this but we we still are going to try and rebuild it but i think we're going to try and get a six seven just so we have a usable uh diesel pickup so we've got my pickup in the shed we got the excursion we got zippy we got the silverton and that should do so oh my gosh look at that handsome fella right there so uh I mean, hopefully it won't, hopefully it won't rain. Or I mean, hopefully it will rain. I like rain. I don't want any hail though. And no tornadoes. Uh, I'd rather, well, I'd rather have hail than a tornado because I don't know. I'd hate for all that beautiful rye out there to get smashed by hail, but a tornado would be a lot harder for us to recover from. So I think, oh no, wait, hang on. There's one more thing we got to do. Ah, we will go ahead and come up here into the versatile and I don't want the windows in this to get broken but like I said earlier at least it's flat glass and we can replace that or we can call a glass shop I mean if there are any left around here and uh, we can have them cut us a piece and we can get her back in if we had to I mean I don't want to do it that way but you gotta do what you gotta do so We'll shut this up, and then I also remembered, just in case, because better safe than sorry, um, just in case the wind comes up really bad, there are a couple of maple trees up by the shop that I don't trust very much. There's that one, and then there's another one right there. That one is the one I really don't trust, but this one here, it's possible that it will fall on the mower. So we'll go start the mower up and move it and then button up a couple other things and I think we'll be done. All right, I did a video about fixing the electrical on this. We're going to see if... Uh, I was bragging about how it was starting right up and everything. All right, let's see. We just need a little bit of choke. More choke. Oh, come on. Oh, yeah. Oh, she loves it. You guys think I can steer this one-handed? Oh, parking brake. We'll just uh, go slow. Oh, 
Oh, yeah. theory in theory um, this will be safe here from anything from that tree that falls um, I mean yeah I'm good at triangulating falling distances uh, it shouldn't fall any direction that's gonna matter winds blowing out of the south so if anything's gonna break it's going to go this way. Now, I, I, do I want it to hit that auger? No, because we kind of want that auger. But um, in the battle of things that are important, I mean, we're going to need the auger, but we're going to need the mower more than we're going to need the auger. So at times like this, you have to prioritize. And one day we won't have to do this hillbilly circus of trying to save stuff. It'll all be safe and secure and we won't have to worry about it. So the only thing... Really, then, that I'm worried about is that limb right there landing on that, which I have... I mean, we need that fixed so we can get rid of it, trade it, you know? But I don't really want to work on it. I hate that tractor. But... And it looks like it on camera, but in reality, that limb would actually fall and land... If it fell straight, you know, it would land on that trash barrel. So with a south wind, it'll land somewhere in here. And uh, I got a working chainsaw so I can cut it up. So property is now barren of vehicles they're all over there in the shed versatile's buttoned up mower is as safe as it's going to get and uh anything else that gets damaged from you know hail or a broken tree uh we can deal with it you know so that's pretty much it actually i was going to say something else but that's uh that's pretty much it i know this was kind of a spur of the moment type of deal but I'll throw this together, and I'll get it uploaded tonight, and I'll see what you guys think of it. Uh, if it does pretty well, then I'll uh, I'll try and do some more videos like this from time to time. But if it doesn't get any views, and I imagine it won't, then I won't do anything like this again. If I do, I'll put it over on the members channel for everyone to enjoy. So, appreciate you guys watching if you stuck around, and we'll hope for rain, and pray we avoid the severe stuff. We'll catch you guys later.